Hey there, internet friends. Trevor Starkey back with another episode of Trevor Plays Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, in our last episode, we just kind of did a fun free-for-all with uh, all of the amiibo cards that I have. Uh, and in doing so, a couple of the amiibo cards dropped me with a new opponent. Uh, so I was like, well, I gotta go try and get her boarded so I don't just lose her. Um, uh, there was a place in the like little lookout town kind of place that I was at. Um, but they were like, hey, we're not ready for horses yet. Uh, so take it to a stable. So I was able to find this stable over here, uh, the, uh, the wetland stable. Uh, and uh, sure enough, uh, as I, I think alluded to in the last episode, um, it did like they, they were like, hey, what's your name? Oh, we're, oh, we can go ahead and give you any link, uh, any horses that we've already like, you know, registered to you. So all of my horses from uh, the old game are over here, um, uh, including or, and, and then this is the new opponent that I just registered. But yeah, the, the two opponents that I registered uh, in Breath of the Wild uh, and then like these are a couple of the like special like quest horses uh the that nerdy horse i think was the giant horse that you uh you can get uh, and then zelda was like the like the princess horse the you know white horse of legend kind of thing uh so and i named her zelda uh, uh in honor of the princess of hyrule um so yeah uh, your horses uh, oddly enough do carry over um they also have this new pony point system uh where you get like basically like rewards points for doing stuff um uh, like boarding a horse or taking out a horse uh registering a horse visiting a, a stable um uh so yeah we got that uh we got a pona here registered uh and now i am going to uh go back to let's see um our kind of our our next objective here crisis at hyrule castle i'm gonna kind of continue with that before I do like a ton of exploring um, in in large part because uh, I still don't have the uh, the glider uh, that I would like um, so yeah I'm gonna work on getting that uh, so that I can you know have all of the exploration tools at my disposal uh, I will say um, the bridge that I just crossed was not the first bridge I used when attempting to go to that uh, 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 that stable. Uh, the first bridge I crossed was further north and I saw basically an encampment of bokoblins on the top of, uh, of one of those rock creatures. Uh, and I was like, well, that's not good. Uh, I'm not ready to, to encounter that yet. So uh, I held off there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and not, not do this shrine yet, but I will at least uh, tap it here so that it turns into a fast travel point and I can come back to it uh, later. Uh, as I did with my Breath of the Wild stuff, I imagine most of the shrines I will do probably in between episodes. Yep and episodically will be more geared towards like the uh, the, the main story stuff. Um, so, yeah. Um, we're going to make our way back west over here. Still obviously got some ruins that have not been completely restored yet. Town, Hyrule Castle Town ruins. Oh, oh, that's that's touching. Who's that for? Silent Princess. No, it's just it's in Hil Hylian, so can't tell. Well, I'm not gonna take a. I'm not gonna take the flower that's left on a gravestone. <laughs> It's, uh, you know, it's uncharacteristically not link like, I guess. There we go. Go ahead and. Kyonosis. Alright. Hello, person. What's up? You looking at that shrine? Whoa, was that opening before? I guess I should have talked to you before. How could I have missed it? 
Uh, we're close to the chasm here, so it's dangerous, you know? For all I know, this shrine could be dangerous, too. My point is, lots of things are dangerous ever since the upheaval. The upheaval. Uh, Cameron and I were talking about this uh, on uh, on this week's podcast, um, that we've now got the upheaval, because obviously the last game we had the calamity. So got, got still got to have new names for the uh, the catastrophes. Uh, so be careful, okay? Uh, chasm? More like chasms, you know, the creepy openings in the ground. Ever since the upheaval, they're all over. In this area, they're beneath Hyrule Castle and to the south of Lookout Landing. I heard that members from the research team went rooting around in some uh, and ended up in a bad way. It's best to steer clear. I'm glad I'm researching shrines and not the chasms. Well, let's talk about shrines. Huh? Oh, you mean like this one here? Well, when the shrines appeared, it caused such a commotion that they landed in the newspaper. Mysterious shrines appear all over the world overnight. It was smack on the front page, you know? So far, we know they're from the Age of Legends. But did they fall from the sky or emerge from the ground? And just what are they, anyway? Oh. Aside from the shrines, we've also got the chasms, of course. Tell you the truth, we don't know squat about all the things that sprung up due to the upheaval. But the shrines and chasms, they could be dangerous, which would be scary. So we need to investigate them pronto. <laughs> People from the search party are putting in long hours at Hyrule Castle, so I intend to do the same. Well, thank you, Miley. Thank you for your service. Um, I, I, too, oh. will investigate the shrines in due course. Let's see. Oh, we got spooky glowy. All right, oh. Epona. Can I drop you off here? Can I? Of course, of course I can't open that door. So I guess, oops. Guess climbing around it is. No. Okay, good. <gasps> Okay, that wasn't bad. I was like, wait, wait, I didn't think it was that far away <laughs> where, I, where I was. Um, okay. Far enough. Oh, so they're going to make me climb a big thing that I don't have necessarily the stamina for? Nah, they wouldn't do that, right? Hey, are you the guard that I should be talking to here? What? Link? No, can't be him. I can't allow anyone past here. Ah. This area is restricted only to those involved in the search of Princess Zelda. It's by order of, by direct order of Captain Haas. If you insist on passing, you'll need permission from the captain. You should be in the first gatehouse up at the end of this road. Okay, good. But I imagine I'll be going there next. Love the Gerudo Shield 26 armor from my uh, that from my my amiibo haul compared to like the two Boulder Shield that I had. Oh, uh, this is not the right way, but oh, there we go. Yeah, or this, you know, Traveler Shield of with an armor rating of four. Yeah, take that, abandoned barrels. Was that the gatehouse I was supposed to go in? No, that looks probably more like a gatehouse, right? With people and stuff. He's too busy, I guess. Oh. Did you come up here to help look for Princess Zelda too? Yeah, Wingo, I did. Yeah, me and a few others had the same idea. We owe a great deal to the princess. We were hoping to help. Anyway, mm. but the captain is way up on top of the gatehouse there. Doesn't look like he's coming down anytime soon. We just showed up here without being asked, so uh, best to stay out of the way until we can help somehow. So, yep, that's definitely a thing I gotta climb up to. What we got? Oh, we got a torch. Torches are always handy, so I can go ahead and. Um, let's see. Go ahead and drop one of uh, one of these stone axes. I've got I've got enough stone axes now. Go ahead and swap into torch. Just like I thought, the weapons here have all decayed too. I wonder if there's any intact weapons left anywhere in the world. What about the weapons? 
Ooh. Hey, it's a new face. Ooh. During the upheaval, all the weapons, swords, spears, claymores, you name it, suddenly decayed. I've explored many regions in search of weapons that might still be intact. I found none. At this point, I'd be surprised if there were any intact weapons left in Hyrule. Oh. They're also a real pain to repair, so the best thing to do is strengthen them. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, I mean, heads up, they were decayed before the upheaval, too. Alright. Let's see about climbing up and talking to Captain Haas. Plenty of places to stop along the way, so stamina should be fine. Hey, there you are, Captain Haas. Sorry, but I, I'm in the middle of something. Huh? Link? Is that you? You're alive? And all in one piece, it looks like. Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe, too? What a relief! Uh, no, bad news. Sorry. Hang on. You're alone? But you heard the princess calling out to you, and you're here to help with the search? I see. Uh, maybe I don't. I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is continuing our search for Princess Zelda. I'm relieved to see you come up here and help us, though. Uh, we needed some good news. The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. Our work carries on, but we've been hit dead in. We've hit a bit. We're, we've been oh. a bit dead in the water. Captain, it's Princess Zelda. Mm. Well, that's weird. And also, great eyesight, dude. She seems far away. Oh, and she's floating up to the sky. Huh? Wait, wait, what? <laughs> huh? You saw that too, Link. You saw Princess Zelda turn into light and fly off, right? Yes. How strange. This, this is an emergency situation. Hmm. Why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Pura know uh, about this as soon as possible. Considering what we just witnessed, I think it makes sense for us to withdraw, but it will take a bit. Please, you must tell Pura about what happened here as soon as possible. All right, well, back. Back to that little encampment town I go. All right. Yep, uh, let's see. Oh, I don't have, still don't have a, a handy dandy glider, so. And I only jump small distances so I don't die. All right, I need to climb down here from here, right? Oop, no, damn it. Well, glad that didn't kill me, <laughs> cause it definitely seems like it could have. Um, go ahead and. Uh, yeah, just a regular mushroom skewer will do it. Alright, back to Pura. Back to Epona, and then back to Pura. Pura, Pura, I don't know. I think we'll go Pura with the liquid U. She might have said it one way or the other and I just didn't catch it in the la in the first episode but oh well yep. all right back to that town place look out look out landing I think is what the place was called yeah. yeah I mean might as well swing in and do a shrine. This, like, this seems like it's geared to be the first shrine you like find. So, you know, go ahead and do... Might as well do this one. Pick up a spirit of light or whatever they are in this one. Combat training. Okay, it's just a fight one. <laughs> Uh, then I'm glad I got myself some 
Big ol' weapons. Alright. Yep, one of those guys. The shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike back. There we go. E. Okay, got it. There we go, flurry rush. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. Okay. Terrible timing, but I'll take it. You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike back in the opening you create. CL is ready shield and A is parry. Okay. Oops, nope. I need a one handed sword to do that. There we go. Oops. Poor timing. Let me try that again. There we go. Build up your power, then release it to un uh, unleash a charge attack. Catch your enemies in motion to damage them. Press and hold and release. There we go. I done killed him. Yay, combat training. Your mastery of his techniques has earned you access. Proceed within. Broadsword, not good. Construct bow, not better than anything I've got. So we will leave those be. Let's see what chest is in here. A zone, a zonite sword. Okay, uh, that's that's a new thing. So yeah, we'll go ahead and just for the sake of variety, we'll drop one of those swords I got from the Mi the amiibo flurry last uh, last time. Visitor to the Shrine of Light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done very you have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. A little bit of gloom gone. Light of Blessing. Alright, that's one. Just need three to go. Then I can upgrade some more health or stamina. Also, I don't know why that person was so, like you know, bewildered by the appearance of shrines. I'm like, do you, do, what happened to the shrines that were here when I awoke from a hundred year nap? <laughs> there you go. What do you have to say about it now that I've gone in and done it? Oh, you, what, you scared me. What are you doing out here in the rain? It's dangerous here because it's near the chasm and something's moving around in the castle town. I haven't really looked at yet though. Probably best not to wander aimlessly around here. Planning on finishing my shrine investigation so I can head back to Lookout Landing. If it came down to it, the monster control crew at the castle gates would help me, right? Okay. So you're saying there's a big ra big, big spooky thing in the ruins, I guess? I didn't run into it, so. Fine by me. Pose? Oh, 
like from like the ghosts from uh, Ocarina of Time. Oh, somebody's mad because I'm <laughs> I'm like, wait, this is set up as a shop, not a <laughs> uh, not just stuff I can take. Josha needs that for her chasm research. Don't touch any of it without her permission. I'll get in big trouble if you do. All right, sorry, Robbie. My bad. Do you have any idea how worried we've been? So that's the arm, huh? I overheard Pura, Pura talking about it. Hmm. I see. Yeah, pretty weird. All right. Uh, nope, now's not the time for distractions. That's That's got to wait until later. Anyway, here you've got yourself a Pura pad now. You know that Pura pad of yours can get a lot more powerful. I know it's real potential. I've got big plans for that device. But first, I'll need uh, to help Josha with her investigations into the depths. But then, oh yes, then I will head back to the lab in Hateno Village to resume my research. So once I'm able to finish up here, you should join me there. All right, so that'll give me probably the the pluses of the pure pad, uh, like we had in the in the last game. Link, glad to have you back, Link. Thanks, Scorpus. I've been charged with managing Lookout Landing. Do you have any questions about the place at all? Come right me. I'll answer as best I can. Please allow me to open up the emergency shelter. Ew. Hey, it's me. Open up. Oh, hey, there's a Triforce on there. That was a noticeably absent thing from Breath of the Wild. No Triforce. This underground vault used to be an emergency shelter for the royal family. Now we're making constant use of it. Feel free to make yourself at home in our vault. Use any equipment you want. Ah, oh, thanks. Um, I mean, yeah, I'll go check that out. Yeah, sure. Emergency shelter. We got lots of, lots of folks down here. Ooh, we got a side quest. Oh. Hey, are you new here? You may scoff, but I know a fresh face when I see one. I can say that because I'm a newcomer too. My name's Bermano, and they put me in charge of cooking for some reason. <laughs> I want to say something fancy, like for today's menu we have fruit and mushroom mix that'll rev you right up. Oh. Yeah, I was really looking forward to saying that, but I'm plum out of apples. If I don't have my most important ingredient, say goodbye to rich, full flavor. Hmm, my nose is detecting an aroma. A sweet, tangy, pleasant aroma. Could it be? Do you have an apple? I do. Take this. Wow, you're really generous. I'm giving you first crack at some grub. Hold on a sec. Uh, this is uh, similar to a series of quests in Kakariko Village, I believe, in the first game, where it's like, bring this ingredient, and they'll give you a recipe with it. I'm calling it Bermano Special Fruit and Mushroom Mix. Looks tasty, doesn't it? Sure. Yeah. I like to make a big deal out of it, but anyone can make it. All you need is an apple, a mushroom, and a pot. You should try making some. I already have, thanks. Good job, Ramona. <laughs> thanks for bringing me in that ingredient. You really saved my bacon. Now I can give the search party plenty of energy to keep the hunt for Princess Zelda. If you need to cook, feel free to use this pot. Oh, great. There's a always available pot. We got a Boko Reaper. Okay. And we got Traveler's Sword. Also with mention of being decayed. Yeah, we got, we got some uh, elements marked on the map. We got the Gerudo area there, where the, where the, the, I'm guessing these circles are like the new, not divine beasts. So probably the dungeonsy, dungeony things here. Okay, and I guess I can talk to this person. Probably learn more. Hi, Atmos. Oh, it's you, Link. Pardon me for being lost in my work here. This map tends to get all my attention. Are you interested in different peoples of Hyrule and where they live? That's my entire field of study. When I'm out on a deployment with the Monster Control crew, I spend hours poring over our maps. As such, I'm the most knowledgeable and lookout landing about Hyrule's various peoples and towns and villages. Uh, well, I already know all about those things, so I won't, won't bother you here. Oh, and there's the shrine for when I have my... Uh, I have enough blessings of light to upgrade. Look at all this dust. Oh. Hey, I know that face. Hi, Jiren. And any face I know is the face of a friend. Please, Link, help yourself to anything in this shelter. It's all yours. Use as you see fit. Don't you dare go making a mess out of this place and kicking up dust. I spent so much time cleaning in here, and it's still endless amounts of dust. Where's all the dust come from, anyway? 
don't know. But you didn't have a ton of stuff here for me. Uh, Zonai survey team's three big ideas. Surveying shrines. Mysterious shrines that uh, appeared due to upheaval. Yeah, shrines, okay. <laughs> Believed to be from Zonai, yep. Okay, surrounding environment. Surveying chasms. Oh, the, the chasms, I'm guessing, are the new dungeons. Replacing the divine beasts. Yeah, where are the divine beasts? Ain't haven't heard or seen anything from any divine beasts. All right. Um, well, probably good down here then, I guess. So just head back on up. All right. Hero was up here, right? Yep. Link, well, did you find anything? Huh? You're telling me Princess Zelda was at the castle and then she transformed into light and flew off? I've got to say, your stories are always so wild. But if you're telling me that's what you saw, then I've got to believe it. Hmm. Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts and dig into the upheaval, for now at least? I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I bet we'll pick up clues about where she flew off to as we look. Oh yeah, you still got a Pura pad, right? Can I see it for a sec? Hmm? Gonna give me my camera functionality back and... Ah. Right, forgot, before we can look at your overall map of Hyrule, we need to add map data from that around uh, Lookout Landing. And for that, we need our Skyview Tower. Joshua, what's the status of the Skyview Tower right now? <laughs> Let me see. It's there. <laughs> Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. <gasps> oh, but the travel point is still going uh, undergoing final adjustments. Hmm. The travel point needs tweaking. Sounds like I better get cracking. Sorry about this, Linky. I'll fix it up quick, so just hang tight. In the meantime, why don't you rest up? You must be pretty tired. The emergency shelter is just the spot for you. It has free beds and a kitchen, so it's well stocked. Okay. If you want more info, go talk to the guy who already opened it for you. <gasps> Got it. Thanks. If you need clothing for your travels, mm -hmm. shop over there. Great. I'll be over at Skyview Tower, so just let when you're ready to head out, just let me know. Yeah. All right, let's work on our Check. blah, 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 blah. You're in charge of the switch. Okay, Doc, you can count on me. So I, I've got my... Might as well throw on uh, a little bit better armor. I got Fierce Deity boots, which will give me you know, a strength boost. So yeah, I'll take that. And a Tunic of the Sky for a little bit more health. Um, yeah, in case if, if I need to go into cold weather again, got the warm greaves, but... Until then, I'm good here. So I already, already been to the emergency shelter. Great, thanks. So we'll just kind of pop straight up over here. Hmm. If I put this here, then that goes there. No, no, that's not quite it. Uh -huh. That should do it. Ah. Hey, Link, you all set? I'm just wrapped up here myself. Travel point is working fine now, or it will be once you do your part. We're ready, Josha. Pull the switch. Hey. I'm just powering something up with a old guardian body, eh? Okay, that because that never works. That never goes badly. Hey, you got light. And it shoots a cannon. They all shoot cannons. Okay. Kind of the same moment from the first game of like the 
towers rising out of the ground. All of the Skyview towers have now been activated. I wish there had been, like, and maybe there's a memory or something of this effect yeah. to, like, reveal, like, the interim time. But it would have been, like, an interesting start to the game of, like, all of the towers, their purpose complete from the last game, sinking back into the earth. And same with the shrines. And then, you know, these ones all pop up out of somewhere. Uh, okay, Link, now it's your turn. Go hold a pier pad over that terminal. Huh. All right, Skyview Tower is now active on your map. That means you can use this travel point to get here at any time instantly. It's the same for the same is true for every Skyview Tower you add to your Pyro Pad. <laughs> Impressive, right? But Skyview Towers are about more than just traveling quickly. Their primary function is to survey the area, or simply put, to make a map. The Pyro Pad works with the Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly onto the, the map. Uh -huh. Pretty great, huh? Hmm. Only thing is, you need a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill and nobody here is what it takes. To be honest, that's why we haven't tested this out yet. We needed you, which brings us to this. Yay, now I've got my paraglider. So it would have been like another half hour of my <laughs> original Let's Play if I'd uh, tried to do that. Uh, this item, given to you by Pura, lets you ride the wind and glide through the sky. Press X to, in midair to activate it. Mm -hmm. Right, it's showtime. Let's start with a test ah. scan. Now it's time for our very first test launch. I mean, our first test. Uh, just step over there into the circle and find me afterward, all right? Huh. I'll be observing from the research lab. Yeah. When the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. And I'll also need to update your map with the places where the upheaval has wreaked the most havoc. Best of luck. All right, yeah, let's go. Let's go flying. Yeah, not not menacing at all. Cool. Oh, plug me in. <laughs> Whee! go look at all that data being fed back down through that cable oh and it's all coming back up to me now surface map updated sky map updated Sky diving down. Oh, there's a shrine over there. I should go check out. And one down there, it looks like, below that spot of gloom. This observatory, like a Korok. Ooh, I can look through here, yeah. And it's just looking at where the castle used to be. Oops.
No, that didn't work. All right. Well, back down here to Pura. Uh -huh. Welcome back. That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expected nothing less. So, how'd it go? Did you get a proper map scan? Uh -huh. Good. That map is crucial to our search. There are Skyview Towers in every region in the world. You'll want to make a point of visiting them all. Yes. Right, let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena have been coming in from all over Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. First reports come from Hebra to the northwest. Next up is Elden in the northeast. The Gerudo are reporting trouble in the southwest. And finally, there's Leneru in the east. Strange phenomena are concentrated in these four regions. Mm. I can't say for certain, but I've got the nagging suspicion that we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. Uh -huh. Hey, Doc, I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It's about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village over in Hebrew recently. Hmm. That is pretty weird, yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put too much stock in hearsay. But this does sound like it's worth looking into. Mm -hmm. Oh, and before I forget, Link... We've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in the search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about the goings-on in Hyrule than them. You can find them near the entrance to Rito Village. If you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help out in some way, too. I'll be here directing a variety of investigations into the upheavals, many chasms, and new ruins. I'll also be looking into the different villages. Someone somewhere might know what's happening to the princess. Yeah! I'm counting on you to check out the major phenomena that are troubling the regions around Hyrule Link. We'll find Princess Zelda one way or another. All right. That's kind of our quest to do the dungeons. And this time we're starting with Rito Village is the recommended starting point there compared to uh, the Zora domain last time around. Sorry, can't talk now. There's something I guess us with goggles right away about our research into the chasms. Let's talk later. Oh, but I saw you. Yeah, there you, okay. There you go. Now you've got a, the side quest bubble. Oh, it's you. You know that Pura pad of yours may seem perfect, but it could be even more perfect. I'll need to head back to the lab. Yeah, you told me that already. Come on, goggles. Are you even listening to me? Oh, uh, yes. Sorry. What you were saying? I was saying that I want to go investigate the depths. Look, if you're not going to listen to me, I'll go and jump a into a chasm wow. myself. No way, no how, you can't do that. The depths are far too vast uh, for you to explore on your own. We've only barely begun to look into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there, too. Who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms. But no matter how wondrous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. I'm not about to let our young prodigy go uh, wandering around somewhere so unknown, so foul. If anything that were happen to Pura's favorite student, it'd be the end for me. The end! <laughs> But I need, uh, but I need more on that figure. Uh, if we have more info on it, then it should help us better understand the depths. What figure? Oh, Swartzman. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. Josha, head of depths research. Yeah. Let me get it up to speed. Our survey team brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. Uh, one of them caught our eye. This piece of slate, specifically the image depicted on it. Hmm. See that figure standing on two legs with one arm raised up? Well, I have a theory. I think it could be evidence that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. Uh -huh. uh, that's why I want to go down there, so I can see if there's any more depictions like this one. I want to see for myself. Oh. But Goggles here says it's too dangerous and he won't let me go. Oh. Josha, come on now. Tell you what, I'll go down there myself and see if I can't find anything about that figure or the oh. slate. And Link will join me. Thanks, Robbie. Thanks for the volunteering me. We'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles that figure on the slate. Assuming we find what we're looking for, we'll use your PuraPads camera to take a picture of it for Josha. A perfect plan. Camera? You know about the camera? It's one of the PuraPads basic features. With the camera, you can capture nearby scenery as an image, one that's stored on your pad there. Sounds like you have more to learn about the PuraPad. Well, I'll teach you how to take pictures, once we're down there anyway. There will be lots of monsters in the depths, though, so I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Let's see. I guess we should enter through the chasm to the south of the lookout landing. I'll go on ahead. Once you're ready, raring to go, come meet me there. Ta-ta. 
Wait, hang on. <sighs> Looks like he's gone. I'm sorry you got roped into all this, swordsman. Goggles means well, but when he wants to help me, he leaps off before he looks. But here, maybe this will help you out at least. Hey, bright bloom seeds. Yep, yeah, I'll probably need those for to light up. Uh, and, and arrows, thanks. Chasms are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there. It's pitch black, but if you attach a bright bloom seed to an arrow and shoot it, it'll light up the area. Definitely a useful trick down there. Okay, you want to head straight out Lookout Landing Southern Gate. You'll find the chasm goggles used just outside. I don't know too much about how your camera works, but I'm counting on you to bring me that picture. Oh, and please look after goggles for me. All right, yeah, we'll do camera work in the depths. Joseph's profile has been added. Restoration materials. Use this materials cache for all your building needs. Come find us if you like a dream home. Hudson Construction. Yeah, I wonder if my house in uh, uh, over in Hateno is still there. Oh, we got bees and honey. So boom. And fight off the bees. And pick up some coarser bee honey. Which I believe I saw somebody online highlighting that you can uh, uh, shoot uh, if you shoot honey uh, it'll uh, basically turns into bees with the arrow. That's its, like, little effect on arrows, so. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, we got a shrine over there on the other side of the chasm, so let's go check on the shrine first. Discovery, Hyrule Field Chasm. Might as well just do this shrine too while I'm here. Shape rotation. It's going to be another motion control y kind of thing. It looks like I'm probably going to have to shape an X through there or something, maybe. Yep, okay. Oh, so, not, not motion control so much as. Uh, grab something with the ultra hand and push it on through there. Bridge. Oh, crap. It is a bridge, but I did not cross it appropriately. Oops. Oh, hey. There's a uh, also an ascend thing up there. What does it want me to ascend up to? I wonder. 
you know, I'm going to use the send first um, in case that's where like the, you know, chest in this is or something. Oops. Um, there we go. There's a the send. No, oh, maybe it's not. Maybe I just mistook that for a thing I could have sent on. That's fine. But hey, if I don't want to try and make that jump, speaking of ascend. There. Alright, we got. Okay, so there's like basically the the test of this one is um, hey this rotation stuff is weird um, so good luck figuring it out fell on that angle. I can't, I don't know how to do a 45 degree angle. Well, there we go. Okay. There we are. Well, that's how we do it. Okay. And I don't know. I guess you're probably going to need to go like this or something. We'll see how the other one plays in here, but plug you there for now. Oh, never mind. I need to push you through this way. Well, actually, I guess first, probably use you as you are. All right, well, freaking ascend it is again. Get up to the top of that rock. Yep, there we go. Up here. A hasty elixir. Lovely. Well, that's nice. Uh, that seems like they're adding more variety to the chests you... Like, in the first game, I feel like it was just always a weapon or a sword or a shield or something. Um, so I appreciate that. Go. Oops. I did want that. There we go. I just need to not be holding rotate there. Okay. Um, yeah, it was always like a weapon, or I guess like there were like opals and stuff, but I like the idea of having. Um... Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and plop you right there so you're on it. Perfect. Oops. Um,. Yeah, like the, you know, including a hasty elixir in here instead of just a weapon or shield or bow and arrow or some kind of gem. Because I think those were the other rewards. Like you'd find amber and opals and stuff like that. But hasty elixirs are fun. Help you run faster. All right, visitor shrine, blah, 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 blah. Yep. So tutorializing the, like... Hey, you might need to rotate this stuff sometimes to think three-dimensionally. All right, now let's go find Robbie and head on in. Ugh, I feel awful. Ah. Hey, Traveler, I'd stay away from that stuff if you care for your health. Folks are calling it the gloom. If you get any on you, you start to lose your strength. It's like sapping your life away. I touched some gloom while poking around in the depths, and now look at me. Worst of all, uh, it will recover on its own, little by little, so long as you're on the surface. But while you're in the depths, you won't recover at all. I thought I was going to die down there. Ah, some investigation leader I turned out to be. This Aww. is just pitiful. I don't like seeing Duval working all alone in the rain. Okay, well, so lesson learned, don't run through that stuff. I'm going to go ahead and mark 
that shrine. I think that just marked the shrine, right? Yeah, it looks like... Oh, there we go. Marked past the shrine on that first one, I guess. So go ahead and delete that pin. I think there was a shrine out that way too, but... Oh well. Alright. I wonder if Robbie's Whoa. okay. Whoa! Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you and almost, you know, make you fall down. Yeah, hey, what's the big deal? You can't just walk up someone standing on the edge of a chasm. My colleague who works with me on the Zonai survey team is down there. What would happen if I slipped and fell on him, huh? Aww. Don't startle me again. I'm hard at work investigating, despite this rain. All right, well, I guess I'm going down there because I don't see Robbie up here to meet me, so... Yep. Okay, well, I'm not going to climb down that long way. That's where that paraglider comes in handy. Oh, yeah, definitely would have been able to climb through all that. There we go. How did anybody else get down here, even? <laughs> How far did Robbie go? Are you Link? Pleasure to meet you. I am Ponic from the Zonai survey team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrived, but he rushed along with such haste that I didn't bring enough I didn't bring enough bright bloom seeds and now I've run out. So I've lost sight of him. Oh. I thought he was taking a short walk over to that glowing area over there. Then he just kept going. <laughs> and going? Last I saw, he was uh, heading way off to the west. Do you have any bright bloom seeds with you? I do. Ah. Oh, that's great news. Light, light from the surface doesn't reach down here, as you might have noticed. You'd be risking your life to wander in here with a light source, without a light source. You can easily get bright bloom seeds from caves, uh, and they'll light up if struck, so they're pretty easy to use, too. We use the seeds all the time. Uh, simplest way is to throw them with your hand, and then attack them. Ah. Those of us skilled enough with a bow and, uh, to attach them to arrows and fire them off in a distance down here. Yep. Oh. We're going to explore the depths. Take plenty of those seeds with you. Noted. Thank you. I wonder... Oh, that... Seems like that's a balloon designed to, like, take me back up to the surface when the time is right. Um, so, yeah. Well, first, I want to see what we got over here. Are these fairies? Fairies hanging out here in the, uh, in the underdark? Deep firefly, okay. Not fairies. Glad I got that, uh, Sheik's bit of stealth from the amiibo. Because otherwise, yep, they dart off. Uh, alright, well, let me go ahead and... Oops. Nope, sorry. Yeah, I know you're not going to be able to get me, Epona. There we go. Bright wing seeds. Haha. -ha. It's like casting light. Misoji light root. It's like an underground shrine? Oh, no, it just lights up the dark. That's neat. So there, I don't need to burn through a whole bunch of Bright Bloom stuff. And it created a travel point for me. Excellent. We are in the depths. The light root dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. I'm also supposed to ascend it to it. I guess I'll find out later. Okay. Hey, you. 
It's really dark down here. Not one bit of light gets here from the surface. Even with my goggles, I can hardly see. I really should have brought some bright bloom seeds with me. <laughs> it's one of the few sources of light glowing root go down here above me has piqued my curiosity. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks harmless enough. This place is roughly under the shrine on the surface. Hmm. Anyway, I'm off to the glowing root. Uh, I, I see shining west of here, so you better hurry up and get moving. Oops, that's said west of here. Yeah, where? Okay. Well, my bullet is pointing north, so I'm gonna go that away. Nope, that's back to where they were. Okay. Okay, yeah, west of here. There we go. To that little fire. Well, that's helpful, because I would not have wanted to go jumping into that gloom. Yeah, got a whole bunch of fireflies. And a muddle bud. Wildflower with powerful odor that can disorient and confuse. Ah, I've heard uh, tell that that uh, attached to a arrow will make the like enemy attack. Um, like it'll if I shoot up a goblin with it, he'll attack his friends. Hey, you still alive? Looks like this place is swimming in gloom. Get too close to that stuff, and you're asking for trouble. If a guy didn't have any bright blooms, I'd be curtains. Uh, then again, it's not my first time down here, and I haven't kicked the bucket, so I'm sure you're fine. I've just spotted something of interest through my goggles. It's shaped like that figure Joshi wants us to find. I'll be continuing to head west towards one of those glowing roots I see ahead. See you soon. Oh, yep, there we go. There's another root. Or anything down here? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, palm flowers. Those are also going to come in handy. Thank you very much. Alright. Um, you know, just to help get me along the way there. Oh, yep, there's there's some sort of enemy. definitely look like enemies. Um, so I'm going to use that muddle thing. Right? Okay, yeah. That definitely has like the, yeah, okay, yeah, glowy book hobbling guy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and see about using one of those muddle buds. I wonder if there's a way to, yeah, there's got to be a way to sort this by, oh, by fuse attack power is how it's currently sorted. Oops. Killed him, so that uh, was a waste. Ah, okay, uh, and somebody found me. And now they see me, so do 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 do. Um, let's see, yeah, soldier. Ah, hey. Thank you. Um, Hey, you know what I haven't done? Fused anything to this weapon. So... Don't know what you just... did slash attacked, but... Coblin horns. There we go, yeah, let's go ahead and... Yeah, yep. Fuse you two. Whacking you with an iron box. Huzzah! Boko bow. Don't need any of those. I'm good. Moblin horn. Great. Yeah, there's just. Alright, well. Uh, this worked on these earlier, I think. Right. Oh no, it was my cobble crusher that did. There we go. Love it. Go ahead and light up the 
this little area here. There we go. Cobbin fang, great. Cobbin horn. Large zonite. Excellent. Lots of zonite and large zonite. Wonder what these guys were like mining this stuff for. What what are they gonna be using it for? Buds. So yeah, uh, le lesson learned. Uh, don't hit a guy with a killing blow if you want to use your arrow to uh, confuse them into attacking their allies. And anything else over here worth grabbing? Trailer sword and bow. Yeah, no, those are good with those. Okay. Oh, we got a keys up there. Bright bloom seed. There we go. A puff shroom, eh? Okay. Hmm. We got lots of little guys here. Don't know what your deal is. Dudes, but big bug guys. There we go. Grab some more deep fireflies if I need them. I feel like that thing just keeps getting further and further away. <laughs> Like a another enemy encampment over there or something. Oh, yep, yeah, somebody found me. Yeah, crap, 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 crap. And oh, hey, I didn't kill you. Oh, hello. You are a new thing. Did not like that. <laughs> That's horrifying. Arrowcuda. Okay. Arrowcuda wing and eyeballs. I'm guessing they came from whatever that little area lit up was. Go ahead and light it up. Yep, indeed. Cobble Crusher almost, almost gone, but use it to mine a bit more ore. Oh. Hello, Bacoblin. Oh, dang it. Yeah, yeah. There we go. All right. Um, desperate strength, so will you be able to mine stuff? fruit if I want to make some flame arrows again. Um, do I have anything I want to go ahead and fix to that? Zonite powered sword. Okay. Um, yeah, you know what? I'll go ahead and 
Fuse. A rock too. Fuse has already been used on this, okay? Never mind. Apparently a stone axe is a stone axe is a fused item. Good to know. Hey, there's a rock hammer. Um, I can't. I thought I just lost a thing. Oh, okay. Apparently I already picked one up. Great. Sure, I'm not walking into gloom here at the edge. There we go. Oh, and there's Robbie over there. But let me go ahead and connect this light route. I suppose he probably would have said something if I talked to him in the dark versus when I talked to him in the light, but. Dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. And didn't heal me up, I guess. Okay. What? Look at how bright that thing got. That light down here is downright refreshing. Hmm. In fact, it's so luminous, it's almost like, like we're on the surface. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. Hey, it's you. You're finally here. I need to show you what I found. Oh, so I think what they're saying there is like, hey, it'll restore your health, you know, gradually. Uh, this statue is standing t tall on two legs, one arm raised high. It looks an awful lot like that figure Josha showed us on that piece of slate, don't you think? All right, get that camera of yours ready. It's time to put it to work. That's right, I forgot. You hadn't used the camera when we last spoke. Very curious indeed, given it's one of the PuraPad's basic features. Hmm, give me that PuraPad for a second, all right? Well, there's the problem. Your camera's locked, and so's your Hyrule Compendium. Okay, so those are the other two things on the, uh, the, the ability wheel, I guess. If I remember correctly, you press this while you pull this, and you tap that, and... Yep, there we go. Camera, capture images using the Pura Pad. You can save them to the album. And the Hyrule Compendium. <laughs> Boom. Now you should be able to use both the camera and the Hyrule Compendium. So go capture a picture of that statue. This is a good chance to verify it's working properly too. Test it out, experience is the best teacher after all. Once you've captured the image, come back here. I want to see how it looks. Statue with the raised arm. All right, there we go. Hey, you, how'd that go? If you've captured an image of that statue with your camera, then hurry up and show me. I'd like to see how it looks. So, did you get a good picture? Stupendous! Looks like you captured it well. I'm sure Zosha will be satisfied with this. Lighting uh, up that immense route, getting us a picture of that statue. You've just started helping us research what's down here, but soon enough we're going to have even more to investigate. Well then, it's time to head back up to the surface. See you at Lookout Landing. Don't make Josha wait too long for that picture. All right. Now let's see if there's anything else. I should take a picture of while I'm down here in the immediate vicinity. Okay, so then let me take a picture of a bright bloom seed that's already been used. I wonder if like, yeah, no, uh, I've got to take a picture of it to get it added to the compendium, so there we go. A bomb flower is the first thing I'm adding to my Hyrule Compendium. 
have to use this next time I do all of my, uh, um, all of my amiibo stuff. Because those give me plenty of things to add to the compendium. Oh, hello. Hello, skeleton bokoblin. Or st uh, stacko stacoblin. Stockoblin, yeah. Um. Oh, sorry, I gotta, gotta whack its head or it'll come back. Alright, and you guys too, huh? Alright, let's see. Oh, you're just regular choo-choos, but flavored with an ugly-looking look. There we go. We got some choo-choo jelly to take pictures of. End of the compendium. And uh, the cobbling arm. And pop the cobbling horn. And a thick stick. Didn't let me take a picture of the zonite, so I wonder if it's already in there or. Ooh, the goblin arm has a lot of strength behind it. But it didn't let me equip it. Is it an item? Is the goblin arm an item now instead of just a weapon? No. It's just there, okay. Yeah, it didn't. You can't carry any more weapons, okay. Um, well, let's drop one of these stone axes. Swap it out for a bacalin arm. Hello, deep firefly. You can be added to the compendium as well. Um, all right, with that, I think I will just go ahead and travel back topside. Let's see, can't work in the depths. Yeah, go return this to Josha. So let me go ahead back to my map. Oh, yep. Basically right underneath that shrine. So it is. Okay, and those those roots are basically like aligned with the shrine locations. Neat. That comes in handy. For being able to identify where they where I can bright up the underdark. So they finally did it. Who are you? Oh. Well, look at this. You're the one I saw flying around the sky. It's great to meet the first one to ever be launched from a sky view tower. Real historic moment. Hey, what's your name? Mm. Link, you say. Hold on there. Really, your name is Link? Hey, buddy. <laughs> you got the same name as that famous swordsman. Ha, huh, good for you. Pretty big name to live up to. Ah. I'm Penn, by the way. I work for the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm writing an article about this event so folks everywhere will know about the Skyview Towers being activated. I better get to work. Our newspaper is short on staff, so I had to flap all over the place to cover the news. Hey, we could use another reporter. You should join us. Seem like a brave type and all. That's what it takes. Oh. Our newspaper is based in Hebra to the northwest. You'll find it near the bridge that leads to Rito Village. Stop by if you're ever up for adventure of a lifetime in the newspaper biz. Until then, <laughs> so long. All right. Bye, Pen. Oh, I miss not having Rivali's Gale. <laughs> Being able to just shoot off into the air myself like that. What? What? Yep. Don't need to take picture of Pura. Uh, yeah, doesn't Zonite does not come up there. So, okay. Well, hey, Josha. Hey, you. Show Joshua the picture of the statue. The figure matches up pretty well, and it looks darn cool, too. Hey. 
This is it. This does match what's on the fragment. Yeah. Thank you, swordsman. Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever they were, which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, big, big discovery. Now, what's next? The possibility is there's so much to research. Oh, but before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as thanks for helping with this stage of my investigation. Our earlier surveys of the depths found all of this. Uh, what do you think it's for? Zonite times five. I feel as if we, if these, as if these contain some kind of strange power, like maybe it's energy for something. Anyway, they might help you in your search for Princess Zelda, so hopefully you find them useful. That fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought back down, back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Goggles, swordsman, <laughs> thank you so much for going to investigate the depths for me. Camera work in the depths complete. All right, that's probably a good place to uh, go ahead and end this episode. Still obviously have one more thing to unlock. I'll have to try and figure out what that might be. Um, uh, or we'll just find it along the way, I guess. Um, let's see, what are what are my adventures still? Regional phenomena. Pier has directed you to each of those areas. Yeah, I can go do that still. Um, Crisis at Hyrule Castle and Find Princess Zelda are like the, like, kill Ganon or destroy Ganon of, of this game, it looks like. So I'll we'll go ahead and mark that back as our quest and maybe we'll head off to Rito Village next time to see what awaits out there. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you for joining me for this Let's Play. I guess we'll kind of keep this going for a little uh, ongoing series for the time being. Uh, you can find new Let's Plays from us every Tuesday and Thursday on youtube.com slash thatnerdysite. Sometimes you get bonus episodes. Uh, we also have a series running now on Wednesdays uh, while Cameron finishes playing Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, so you can go check that out as well. Thank you for joining me. As always, stay nerdy and be good to each other. <laughs>